Hi, my name is Emma and I am an orientation and mobility graduate at Guide Dogs Victoria. Today I'm going to be talking you through cane tips. I'm going to tell you a little bit of information about each one and why you might choose one over the other. At Guide Dogs Victoria we use two brands. We use Ambutech and we also use Beveria. The cane tip that you choose must be unique to the brand of cane that you have. So if you're using a Beveria cane, you need to also use a Beveria tip. Today we're going to go through eight of the most common tips that you'll find and I hope you enjoy. The first cane tip I'm going to talk about today is called the pencil tip. It's a very common tip and it's very lightweight. So it actually gives you a lot of feedback upon the ground that you're traveling along. With that said, it actually does get caught quite easily on the ground surface. So it's not for the faint hearted. If you're using this tip, you want a really lightweight feather touch. And generally you'd utilize this tip if you were someone who liked to use two point touch. So where you're tapping your cane from side to side rather than having it in constant contact with the ground. It's a nice smooth rounded long tip. And the one that I'm holding up is actually specific to Beveria. It's gonna slip right onto the end of your cane. The second cane tip is called the pear tip. It's very similar to the pencil tip, but it's a little bit wider in the base and it's named as a pear because that's the shape it looks. Basically, it's another lightweight tip. It's a great one to utilize with two point touch and it's gonna give you a lot of feedback from the surface that you're traveling on. The next cane tip is called a marshmallow tip. These are specific to Ambutech canes. The one I'm currently holding is one that you can screw straight into the bottom of your Ambutech cane. It is lightweight, it's very durable, and it's very similar to the pear shaped tip for the Beveria cane. This is your ball race tip. Your ball race tip is a little bit smaller than a golf ball. It's rounded and it's one that's going to glide across the surface that you're traveling upon simply because it rotates and moves with you. Because of its rotating nature, it does pick up a little bit less feedback from the ground than its smaller, lighter weight counterparts. But you'll find that the gliding motion may mean that it also catches less on some of the unsteady surfaces. It's important to note that if you're using a rotating tip, you might find that it's a little bit harder for you to maintain an adequate cane arc, simply because the movement and roll of the tip may make it so that your cane moves a little bit further from left to right than it otherwise would had you have a fixed tip. The fixed tip in this same sort of shape is called a rural tip. It looks exactly the same and the only difference is, is that it's fixed to your cane and it's not gonna move. It's important to note that both these cane tips are a little bit heavier, in particular the one that rotates, so your ball race one's a little bit heavier than the rural, rural tip. And you'll find that they do provide a little bit less feedback from the environment, however they are less likely to catch on any of the bumps that you might come across. This tip here is your Super Bowl rolling tip. This one is the largest cane tip that you can find. It is almost the size of a tennis ball, but not quite, it's slightly smaller. And basically it's a rotating tip as well, which means it's gonna glide nice and smoothly along the ground. It is a little bit heavier, but if you're using it in constant contact, because it is slightly heavier, it means it's going to move a little bit for you as you glide it across the ground in constant contact. This one is going to provide a little bit less feedback from the ground simply because of its size and its rotating mechanism. This cane tip is called your Bundu Basha. This is a very unique cane tip. It's shaped almost like a U, so it's thin and rounded. And if you were to add it to the end of your cane, it would make it almost look like a hockey stick. The Bundu Basha is designed for outdoor use. So I'm talking bushland, heavy grasses, and just general outside use. It's designed to catch a little bit less and it requires a very unique motion. So something like a figure eight knot. To use this cane tip effectively, you would require a bit of extra training perhaps from your orientation and mobility specialist. Last but certainly not least is the ceramic cane tip. The ceramic cane tip is actually exclusive to your Ambutech cane and it's almost shaped like half a ball, the half ball part of it being in contact with the ground. Because of its material, so the ceramic material it is made of, it actually provides a superior audio feedback from the environment upon which it is connecting with. So on different surfaces, you'll get quite a unique sound to when you're using this cane. It is small, so it does catch a little bit, but it's 
definitely appropriate to use this cane tip with either two point touch or constant contact depending on what surface you're traveling along. I hope you found this video informative and if you have any questions or want to learn a little bit more about the different cane tips, not all have been mentioned in this video, there are other cane tips out there, please feel free to get in contact with us at Guide Dogs Victoria or speak to your orientation and mobility specialist. Bye!